donuts and boy muffin. And we're going to talk to people who aren't vegan but love dogs. The circle of life. The circle of life? No, 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 it came from The Lion King. So you're actually using The Lion King as a scientific source here. <laughs> I care about why you two people who are good people yeah. still pay for animals to be stabbed and killed when you're against it. Yeah. That's, that's the argument. Right? No, yeah. and then if, if that's the argument, then I totally agree with you. It is, yeah, it is right a that hypocrisy that. on a major scale. So it's dog lovers who aren't vegan are hypocrites, prove uh, me wrong. Do you want to know my, the full extent of my argument? It's yes, you go first. I know your we'll... name's Joey. Yeah, okay. I'll get you the, the full extent of my argument. I, when people love dogs, they love them for specific reasons, yeah. okay? They have a personality, they're sentient, they, they understand that they feel pain and they, don't, they, want, they like to look after the dogs and they, they have wants and desires. And for those exact same reasons, why don't we extend those to the animals that are abused and killed and stabbed to death and chopped up into pieces on others' plates? So I'm saying if you love dogs and you destine these other animals who are inherently the same in all the ways that matter as dogs to a slaughterhouse to be chopped up and killed, I'm saying that you're a moral hypocrite. Right. I believe that's correct. Oh. You, you agree correct. with that premise? To an extent. Okay. Okay. And how about you, because we've got two people here. Do you agree or disagree? Uh, you know what? I'm going to say I'm disagreeing, okay. uh, just because I guess you could say dogs are man best, man's best friend, and you know you don't really get that with cows and all that stuff. They're kind of more like a bit different. As we domesticate dogs, we sort of build more of a connection with them rather than other animals, say cows or pigs that we eat. And so I guess a dog you could say is more of a household animal, whereas you can't really have a, a cow as a pet really. So you can't? You can't really have a cow as a pet, I would argue. I would say... You're saying you can't have a cow as a pet? Yeah, because, I mean, okay. it's pretty big. It's a big thing. It's like a hassle, but like a dog, like this little cute dog you're over there. you saying it's impossible to? No, it's oh, not impossible to. It's, it, it, it's, it's not convenient as, yeah, say, a dog. Because a, yeah. a, a dog is, is, is sort of like a companion where I, I don't think I would really go up to a cow and pat it. I would still say that makes you a hypocrite because you're just right. deciding who's your friend and who's not, and then you're killing the one who's not your friend. Right. I would still say you're a moral hypocrite. Like that doesn't sure. prove that wrong. Say that because that's your opinion. Yeah. Well, how is it not? Like um, like so you're saying that because this cow is in your care, uh, this anim uh, this dog is in your care, and it's your fr you've chosen this one to be your friend. Yeah. Anyone who's not your friend, who do you, you don't consider your do friend, you, you can murder. Do you choose your friends? Of course I do. But if they're not my friend, I wouldn't deny you of your rights and stab you to death and go, oh well, he's not my friend or this animal's not my friend, I'd be a big right. fat hypocrite. My friend deserves rights, you're not my friend, that person's not my friend, never met him before in my life. Kill them, take their rights away, enslave them, turn them into, you know, a burger. How long have okay. you been vegan? Are you vegan? I'm assuming you're vegan? I'm a, I've been vegan for six years. All right. Yeah. So, so do what you... What vegan based on animal rights or...? You can only be vegan for animal rights. Right. There's people who are vegan for health reasons. Well, they're, they're not looking at the definition of vegan. It's to do with the exploitation and cruelty to animals as far as practically possible. So you can't be vegan. Is that, vegan. Def is that a definition of vegan? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh, I think you're so, vegan. You know, you can be plant-based for the environment, but you can still wear oh, leather yeah. shoes. And you I'm plant-based for the environment. I, will, I, I try and do plant-based four times a week. Because you can still participate in things that exploit and kill animals while looking after the environment, can't you? Yeah. You can go spear fishing and you can wear a leather jacket and... You know, which lasts longer and, you know. So you wouldn't be a vegan. A vegan no, is, you know, it's, it's to do with animal rights only. Yeah, right. Yeah. I see where you're coming from. What, were you, what made you become a vegan? Because I didn't want to be an animal abusing hypocrite anymore. Right. What made you wake up to that? You wake up on the wrong side of the bed and go, you know what? This, this makes me, I've woken up today, I've seen myself in the mirror and I've gone, so do, you not do you want to know my story? Do you not own any leather products or anything like that? No, No, because I wouldn't wear your skin if you were killed and murdered. Yeah, yeah. I'd say that's uh, yeah, really that's weird. Yeah, and we've we got dogs over here too. Like muffin. Sorry. Well, Muffin's very cute. I wouldn't wear a muffin bag. No, I wouldn't either. She's, yeah. she's very cute. He's, yeah. he's, he's cute. But let me tell you my story. I was a gang member for many oh, years wow, and a drug really? addict. And then I went to prison for firearms offences. I had a gun down my trousers trying to protect myself. And in prison I got sober. Okay, and part of my sobriety was like, I started thinking about all the things I'd done in my life and I was like, well, you know, I'd hurt people, I'd been doing all these things, I'd been involved with the wrong people. And I kind of started to analyse my own morality for the first time, okay. And then when I got released from prison, I'd, 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 been, I'd heard about the plant-based diet in terms of health, in terms of juice fasting, and it's, oh, it's really good, the, the life-giving plants. But I also thought about the hypocrisy of animal rights activists saying save the whales while they had a steak on their plate. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm all for being... I don't want to be a hypocrite. 
So I had a conversation with my mum telling her to quit smoking and she said, well, look at you. Like, there's a lot of people, things people do that they don't change that are bad. And I like looked at myself and part of that was going, hey, I'm an animal abusing hypocrite. I need to change. In the same way though, do you believe that someone who's say vegetarian but still eats eggs, would that be better than someone who eats say meat? You'll have to ask the egg laying hens who are enslaved and murdered. Yeah. I'm pointing that question to you though, not to okay. the hens. Okay, well, from, from the animal's point of view, absolutely not. That's an injustice and no injustice should be selective or reduced. Okay, you're either, you're either against animal abuse across the board, you don't pick and choose which animals, because that's exactly what we do with dogs and pigs. Like, In the same way, the, um, if someone was to, say, injure someone, and then on another level, murder someone, yeah. they go to court, they go to jail for, for different periods of time. Someone who's vegetarian but still eats eggs, but someone who's completely vegan, yeah. I believe that person, you know, still has a moral compass in some way, more so other than, like, more so than a person who eats, you know, meat on a daily basis. Okay. I'm picking up well, let me, let me, let me uh, just put it like this. Let's just say... Because you have to start somewhere. I understand what you're saying. No one's going, you know, the whole world isn't going to turn vegan overnight. They didn't peel, you know. Okay, it's, it, it, I understand it. your point. Can I, can I respond to your point for a sec? For sure. Because the egg industry is no different to the meat industry, okay? So they're the same type of industry. They're enslaving these... What happens in the egg industry? A hatchery. Can I just... Can I show you some graphic footage? Go ahead. It's going to be graphic, all right? Oh, wow. That's all right. So um, let me just get this here. I'll show you the egg industry so I don't... This is standard practice in Australia. Um, so they impregnate the chooks just for the purpose of their exploitation. Well, there's parent breeder hens that, that the eggs will come from. That the, right. the hen layers will come from these parent breeding sheds. So they're fertilised eggs and then they'll, they'll go to a hatchery. And at the hatchery, they will hatch and they'll be separated into male and female because they don't need male egg, uh, hens in the uh, male chickens in the hen uh, in the egg laying industry. They don't lay eggs, do they? Ah, so they just no. get rid of them. So I'll show you how they get rid of them. Let's go to the egg part. How do you think they get rid of these males? Obviously they're going to slaughter Chop them. Chop their heads off. They're little, they're only baby chicks, it's their first day of Stump life. On them. Strangle them. Hang them up Close. by a thread and spank them to death. No, they're too, they're, they're innocent little baby chicks. Let's have a look. Where's the eggs? Shoot them. Oh, there you beef. go. God. That's a slaughterhouse. These are, these are the victims. <laughs> eggs, away. here we go. This is down, by the way. So you're saying like, if they're, if they're just supporting this industry, then, you know, they're doing something that's better. Uh, to a certain extent. I mean, that's See, they're not, separating they're not... them into... Wait a sec. We'll, we'll, we'll just, we'll just, yeah. They're separating them to male Continue. and female, okay? Right. They go to this conveyor belt. This is their first day of life. They've just hatched. It's what the egg industry does for people who want to eat eggs. Now, what am I supposed to say to that person? Yeah, good work, mate. Pat you on the back. Hell no, that's animal abuse. So that's, that's, that's okay. absolutely horrible. RSPCA approved. RSPCA I mean, approved. Why, why do, they, why do they have to kill the chickens? I would argue. They kill the males because they don't... So then why can't they just put them in like a... In, for, for breeding or something? From an economic standpoint, they can't really do that if they're primary to hatch eggs. These are these specific breed is for egg laying. Yeah. They don't grow them for, for like flesh. Meat, yeah. So they don't grow fast fall. enough. They're not like the 42-day-old chickens that you eat that grow in six weeks. These are different. These are specifically for egg laying. So they just chuck them in a blender. And that's what you pay for when you eat eggs. Ah. I um, mean... We can talk about the other industries like... Uh, this is pigs here. Uh, we can talk about the gas chamber stunning. This was RSPCA approved till activists went in there and left cameras here. This is how they bullshit you. They're struggling for their last breath. This is CO2 gas stunning. This was considered the most humane method for stunning pigs. Then they take him out of here and they stab them in the throat. Now, what sort of position do you take on injustice like this? I mean, of I course would argue you're not that. going you're not going to, you know, agree with this kind of stuff, but it's 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 hidden. So so yeah. people so people who are eating meat, I guess, aren't seeing this shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So and what would you like to say about that? I mean, I would argue that especially that method is obviously like the most inhumane way to do it. No, this is what they this is what they were telling us is the most humane. Yeah. They fell asleep gently. We have to expose yeah. these places. Industry won't. So, like... I mean, I, I guess you could say, like... What it, obviously, that is, like, the most inhumane way to do it. This but is like, standard, bro. This is yeah, where you're I getting know. your meat and dairy from. So, right now, this is but what I you're mean, paying like, for. 
You can't really close down the whole meat industry, I guess. Why not? I mean, because look how many people eat meat. Like, at least that 90% mean, of the people here. How many people had meat. slaves back in the days? We shut that down. Yeah, I mean, but like, I guess what you could say, like, hypothetically, like, the meat industry is never really going to, like, end, I guess. But why not? Well, wait more, a second. If more people I mean, like you see this, like you said, it's hidden from people. Yeah. Just because it's hidden from you doesn't mean that you're not causing a massive impact to these animals. Oh, no, and when sure. someone like me goes, hey, you're an animal abusing hypocrite if you care about animal rights or animals at all and you're paying for them to be in this place, then people go, well, explain, and I'll show them this. What are they going to do? They're going to keep paying for this? Not really. They might. Some people do, but yeah. I, I can't. You guys seem like you've you got your head screwed on and you've got a compassion yeah. in your heart. Yeah. No, for sure. I mean... So you say you're a dog lover. I love dogs. If anyone touched my dog, have you seen the thread, the comments thread, when there's a dog abuse video on Facebook? Kill him. Yeah, that, that, kill him. Seen that cats, um, uh, don't, don't fuck with cats. cats. Yeah. Kill him. They want to kill this person, right? Now, what if an activist like me said, "Oh, someone fucked with a pig. Kill them." They'd be like, "Militant vegan at it again." Yeah. What's the? That's hypocrisy. It is. It's hypocrisy. But I don't. I think with in saying that, I don't think it's going to change. That's, yeah. that's a practical argument. I guess now, like, saying it won't change, it took 400 years to abolish um, slavery in America. 400 years. Goes on, Child, Child slavery. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, Sex slavery. But it's outlawed. This is legal slavery. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. Legal slavery. I guess you're has, right. a, has the RSC, RSPCA or PETA not said that you can't you know, slaughter animals in inhumane ways? That's a welfare argument. right? How do I kill you humanely? Right now you want to live? How do I rob your life humanely? But there's laws against murder against people. There's, there's, there's there should be laws against murder for animals, not humane ways to murder. Fair enough. I guess you're right. Like this is bobby calves. They don't produce milk in yeah. the dairy industry. You know they get murdered. Yeah. I guess you. What Look you, at this baby here. Yeah. Taken from their mother. You can't watch that. No. Do you drink dairy? Uh, no, I drink almond milk actually. Do you eat cheese? Chocolate? Yeah. Exactly. So this is what you're paying for. Like this so is guess, the abuse you're paying for. I guess you're right saying if you're a dog lover and then. You like allow this, you're a bit of a hypocrite. But Look, like, this is exactly like a dog. Yeah. You're telling I me that know. just because they're not your friend, this is okay? Like it's you said, oh, they're okay. not companions? It's not okay. Yeah. It's just like, I don't really see what, how we can make a change unless we get more you people can. to see these videos. You can. You can't stop the child sex slavery like you were talking about, right? But you don't participate in it. You don't go right. buy and disgusting no. child pornography no, like you don't support her. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You're consistent with that. You don't go out and abuse people or beat yeah. up whoever you want. You don't do it. So why don't you do why do you do this? Good point. So okay. If me and Max were to go vegan, right? Yeah. Would I don't th I don't yeah, think us Okay, so 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 appeal to futility? Multiple, multiple people stop investing in in these sort of like in in industries. I still think that that sh this shit would still go on. Yeah. I'm saying that you said to me slavery still exists. Yeah? Yeah. Does that mean we should... Oh, because it does still exists and it's not going to go away, we should just all participate in it still. This is your oh. argument. Oh. No, you don't know. I'm saying, why do you? I'm putting the onus on you two. Why well, not? Yeah. Well, after seeing this shit, I don't, I don't know. So anyway. it's not up to whether everyone else is going to, whether it's not going to change. I don't give a fuck about that. I care about why you two people, who are good people, yeah. still pay for animals to be stabbed and killed when you're against it. Yeah. That's, that's the argument yeah. here. No, yeah. and then if, if that's the argument, then I totally agree with you. It is, yeah, it is right a on hypocrisy on a major scale. Yeah. But yeah. Okay, so if you leave here today, it's either you're a vegan or you're an animal abusing hypocrite. Which one is it going to be? I don't think I can commit to, to vegan, you know, okay. instantly, but I'm definitely on the right track okay. trying to eat plant-based you know, so, a majority of the so time. So just know while you're doing that journey, you're abusing animals and you're a hypocrite by your own moral standard. Yeah. So, so that might motivate you further. Yourself? Yeah, it, it's definitely motivating after seeing this. Yeah. I guess I'd have to agree as well. I mean, obviously today I'm not going to leave and instantly go vegan, but like, I guess I'd be open to a bit of change in my diet and my way of living, I guess. Yeah. Just about being morally consistent and, yeah. you know, don't be hypocritical when it comes to animal cruelty and like I did like, like I'm not some softy who no, you know like been, I'm not some yeah. hippie guy dude yeah, I just think that been, that's yeah. fucked up but yeah. like, people in the gang world right they, they were doing stuff wrong to each other yeah. a lot of this shit was like they did something wrong to me oh like these animals did nothing wrong to anyone yeah. who, when, who did a cow ever fuck over no a one. chicken these are innocent beings and we treat them like worse than the worst criminals on earth yeah
for sure. Yeah, it's and definitely it's a, it's a holocaust. Yeah. It's a holocaust what we're doing to them. Yeah, you can say that definitely. Slaughter or destruction on a mass scale, it's a holocaust. There's no other way to describe it. It is a holocaust. Yeah. So, All right. Appreciate my friends it. over here, some more information so about vegan Brilliant. alternatives yeah. and things Thank you can you. do. Thank you. Thank Great you combo, thanks for sitting down, eh? Have a good one. Really good combo. Pretty smart kids, good lads.